Top Billing, billing. Uptown Murph Top Billing, billing. Yo, this is incredible The Eagles continue to make splashes On the first day of free agency Right in North Jersey once again, right? Went to North Jersey to get the New York Giants superstar running back, Saquon Barkley, bringing him back home. Now they go and get my man Bryce Huff from the New Jersey Jets, my good my team. So it's a little bit bittersweet right there, right? Uh, you take your uh, guma and you, you lessen her, but man, you feed your wife, right? You take money from your guma and you feed it to your wife. Bryce Huff signing a three-year deal. Worth $51 million with the Philadelphia Eagles there. Just saw this bad boy. I don't even know the particulars. There you go. Max annual deal of $20 million. So I wonder about my boy Hassan Reddick. Obviously, the writings on the wall was what's going to happen to Hassan Reddick there. So he's clearly going to be moved. But I forget the value. Did he want $25 million? And he And he kind of balked at $20 million? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one on me right there, man. I love Bryce Huff, man, but I love me some Hassan Reddick from out here. He cammed in New Jersey, South Jersey stand up. But, man, that's a that's a way to make the pain less than a little bit right signing Bryce Huff because that boy is a damn animal. And, yeah, I've seen every game of him in a Jets uniform. And, uh, yo, he's going to be able to get it in. And I saw where they're trying to move Josh Sweat as well. So that signifies to me. People who did not understand the switch to an odd front defense, especially under someone like Vic Fangio, uh, being able to have the pieces that match. You're going to need guys who can drop in the coverage and all that as well. It's not really Josh Sweat's game. He is a tried and true, in my opinion, 4-3 defensive end. So your man Bryce Huff, check this out. All right, check this drawing out right here. Your boy Bryce Huff way out in space, right to the nines. Look what he does to Rashawn Slater. Oh, my God. He took him to the Candy shop. I take you to the candy shop. Hey, yo, pause. Come on, man. What are we doing here? Look at this. Bryce Huff is extremely explosive. If you had to kind of compare him to somebody, it would be Hassan Reddick. You're essentially going to get a little bit bigger Hassan Reddick, right? Um, but at 25 years old. Look at him lean with it, right? Look at that. It's almost like he was about to run the art. Get her. Rashawn Slater worried about that mental pressure of having to deal with that speed and then show off the power portion of this, right? Bang. That's how you convert speed to power right then and there. You saw cherries, lemons, bananas, all kinds of shit, right? Full tilted in his eyes right there. Look, he has no answer with his feet, right? Because he was partially paralyzed to begin with. Look at him trying to anchor down and sink those mud hooks. Not happening right there. Your boy <laughs> is the absolute truth with that. Come on, man. If we see Jermaine Johnson right there, and then they drafted Will McDonald as well to the Jets, I thought the writing was on the wall for a cat like my boy Bryce Huff anyway. And, uh, man, it couldn't have turned out better in that regards right there with him just coming down the street just a little bit. Cause you know he going to live out here in Jersey, baby, because if anyone's anyone, you live out here in South Jersey playing for the Philadelphia Eagles. All right? And I hate to do this, but my man gave Jordan my lot of fits, and we know how great my lot is. Not good, but great. His explosiveness, dexterity, and ability to chain moves together, man. I'm telling you right now, look at this. Same deal right there. Oh, my lot of got played. Played him up field. Played him up field on the dip inside. Look at him coming off, rounded it again. Bang, gets into his chest, right? You are moving with some serious power if you can get into the chest of Jordan Malata and have him shoot. Look at that. Jerked him back, right? Jerked his neck, popped his head up the top like Jack in the Box, continues to drive, then work back in upfield to sling him upfield and to peel back inside to get Jalen Hurts. That man doing big work. I'm telling you right now, in a Fangio scheme, we saw it with Bradley Chubb and them boys. He's going to get after it. Check this out again. Oh, my God. Look how fast, right? He ain't supposed to make that big man move that fast. He didn't want to move that fast. Reverse and reverse. Look at this again. Look at the power, man. This guy's just one of those natural, uncanny pass rushers, right? But listen, I'm going to have to keep it a buck with you as well. We don't know how this guy will do as a full-time edge player, as a starter. 
You know what I'm saying? We can look at the numbers here in a second there, but your man does not have any experience with that. So some of these guys get a little bit different. They have to play down in and down out, and they have to run, have to, uh, work against the rush all the time. Uh, you coming in fresh, right? It's like bringing in a sparring partner when you're in training camp, right? They have you go against these guys, and you keep bringing in fresh guys. It becomes more difficult for you. So he's a difficult matchup for anybody uh, when he's coming in fresh. But I have a feeling he'll be just fine as a starter for them Eagles. All right, once again, going against Malata. Now, he doesn't make this play right here, but he makes the play, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, my God. Look at the bend back inside. Just so happened, Jalen Hurts is a wizard and is able to escape it, uh, but he still throws an incompletion. So, But the work was done. He collapsed the pocket for real by going back inside. Look at him. Show and go. Stick that foot in the ground. Force Malata upfield and then run a straight plane on him right there. All my Malata could do was reach. And if you reach... I'll teach you. You know the old saying right there. That's what happened. He called a caused a five car pile up as well. I don't know how the hell Jalen Hurts stayed on stayed on his feet on that one right there. But hell of a move from him to get back inside. Uh, right up field. You know what that's derived from? Chaining together moves. Remember before he forced it upfield just to get into his chest, and you have him thinking about both the upfield and the power, then you dip it back inside. That's chaining moves together. That's having a plan. This time on the other side, you can see how much space the Jets put him in. I think it would be wise for the Eagles to definitely follow that and allow that, especially on money downs, right? So look what he does to Driscoll here. Look at this. Oh, look at the subtle hands. Oh, my God. That was a clean-ass rep right here. A lot of people are very demonstrative with their hands. He has these silent night hands, right? Silent night. Look at that. He's not even showing yet. He's going to make that man react. Look at that. Jiu-jitsu shit right there. Look at that. Bang. Bang that right there with the club overhand and then work it off the two, right? Hit him with the one, switch to the two. Reverse that, come around right outside the gate right there and then runs the arc on him. Hurts had nowhere to go. Shit, everybody was collapsing on that play right there. That was a good rep. You know the Jets could play some damn good defense. They could rush the pass as well, too. But come on, what are we doing here? Look at this. Mmm. Nasty ass silent night hands. Woo wee. Working out of that motorcycle stance up on his feet here. And you can see he doesn't take the cheese on this one. Cross formation block from that fake pitch. Stays at home. Tua has to sit it down. One more time on that one right there. See that right there? Oh, two are getting flushed by Quentin Williams and Bryce Huff at the, simultaneously, right? You get that stretch action there, almost like slide protection, the fake pitch, coming working him backside with Durham Smythe here. Yeah, not going to happen. Put a tight end on him if you want. Look at that. Works up field. Shoves him just like he did my lotter right there. And uh, two are right here. <laughs> He's just having to turf himself, right? Artificial turf himself. A true, green, true green Kimlon fertilizes himself right there and uh, takes one for the team, literally. As far as Huff goes against the run, uh, we're going to have to see more for him, obviously, in that manner. Uh, just for the simple fact that, man, he was brought in on a lot of money downs where there isn't a lot of run to be had. So we can see right here, though, on a squeeze down, look at the quickness. And running down the pipe right there. Check it out. Oh, they're trying to they're trying to put the okie doke on him, right? Fan out block right here. He squeezes that. Gets around that skirting, skirting, and then sifting and destroying. Mm, he's got some shit to him, man. I think he's gonna come alive out in Philadelphia and get into some full time reps, man. I wouldn't be surprised to see the dude have. 15, 16 sacks, just like Hassan Reddick, and then showing himself against the run as well. Let's look at some of his numbers. All right, so as we see last year, he had 10 sacks. He had 17 and a half for his career. This will be his age 26 season. He'll be 26 here pretty soon in April, coming out of Memphis. As we see right here, man, look, this man has seven total games started in his career. And he just inked that deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. Right, headed into his fifth season. Just seven games started. Now, obviously, at the edge, it doesn't really matter as much. Of course, you're coming in on money downs. Um, but that's crazy to think of. He was able to ink that. But you can see, even in 
money down situations, man. He's able to produce a few sacks here uh, last year. And, uh, man, not much production at all, if you want to be honest about it. 65 total tackles in his career, 40 solo. But watch he explode. Your man is about to explode with the Eagles. So it's going to be fly. Eagles fly. And, man, Eagles off to a roaring start with free agency. I got to see the dominoes, domino moves that fall behind this. Like I said before, Hassan Bedick, my main man, my favorite Eagle, uh, not looking long for the Eagles anymore. Um, of course, Josh Sweat as well. And uh, we'll see how it shakes out in the defensive backfield. That's what I'm really interested in as well. But getting Bryce Huff, man, definitely uh, makes it a little bit more palatable. Obviously, think about this right here. I said it before. When you go out and draft people in the first round, uh, they're going to have to play. So Nolan Smith, as much as I don't want to see that be the case, I don't think Nolan Smith is better than Josh Sweat. Definitely not better than Hassan Reddick. Um he was drafted in the first round, and he's a talented individual. So we'll see how he grows right there. So uh, that could very well be your starting two right there. Nolan Smith and Bryce Huff. How you guys feel about that in a 34 front? Let me know. But once again, baby, we in the building. South Jersey stand up. Cumberland County. Uh, we in the building. Ocean County, Atlantic County. Camden stand up. Of course, guys out in Salem stand up. My man. Listen. Philly, South Philly, stand up. Elkton, Maryland, Newark, Delaware, my man, and my people all the way out in Newcastle, Delaware, Wilmington, stand up, of course. Let's go. Top billing, Top billing. billing. of Town Murph. Top billing, billing. Crazy. 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 